the basic parts of a Java program. So looking at the screen, we can see at the very top there are two forward slashes and this indicates a comment in a Java program. It's ignored by the compiler. You can have comments on their own line or at the end of a Java statement like we see where it says class header, method header, Java statement. And those are just comments. So you can basically write those as notes to yourself to describe your own code or they can be used in many other different ways and I have a separate video on what comments are and the different types of comments. There's also at the very top of your program you should have a line of code that looks like this public class hello world or the name of whatever your class is called and this is called the class header it contains the keywords public and class and then the name of your class should start with an uppercase letter and every other second and third word and so on should also start with an uppercase letter. This is called camel case. And the name of this class should match the name of your .java file. This hello world class should belong in a hello world.java file. Then right underneath it is a curly brace and then a closing curly brace that's lined up right directly below it. And this is the body of the hello world class. And within the body of the hello world class, there is what's called a main method public static void main string square bracket args and I don't expect anybody at this point to know what any of these words mean but I ha I'll have a separate video later that describes every word in the main method header just understand that for now that the main method header is needed for any executable Java program if you want your program to be able to run it has to have this main method in there and let's say for example you wrote a Java program with a million lines of code and where is the first statement that's going to be executed? It's going to be the very first statement inside the main method. Your program lives and ends in the main method. It starts from the opening curly brace to the closing curly brace. And the code inside the main method may call other code outside, outside of the main method and inside other methods, for example, or create objects of other classes. But for now, just understand that your entire program lives and ends in the main method. You need one main method for every executable Java program. In this example, there's just one statement inside the main method that says system.out.println, which basically translates to whatever's inside these parentheses, print it out to the screen. And it prints out hello world, which is a string literal. And the statement ends in a semicolon, like all other Java statements should do. But notice that there are no other semicolons anywhere in this program the class headers, the method headers, the curly braces, none of these things have semicolons at the end because they're not Java statements, they're framework type code that shouldn't have semicolons.